the drug poison crisis slash opioid epidemic is the biggest public health crisis facing our population right now. Opioid levels in Alberta wastewater are stirring concern at the University of Calgary. Researchers say there was four times the amount of carfentanil found in June's wastewater report compared to earlier this year. The finding coincides with a rising number of overdose deaths that the province saw in April. We need to be more informed of what's happening to the supply because any sort of little shift or change can lead to spikes in deaths. Dr. Monty Ghosh is part of a UCalgary pilot project that's monitoring opioid trends in Alberta wastewater. He says along with a spike in carfentanil, researchers also found traces of the tranquilizer xylazine, which isn't typically used on humans. He believes it could be proof of a new opioid concoction that entered the province's drug supply in April but this is the first time we actually detected in the wastewater too. Uh, on top of the carfentanil and on top of benzos that we usually see in our wastewater. And it was surprising to see the sort of this sort of mix that we noticed during the same time period as these drug poisoning events. 179 Albertans died of drug poisonings in April, including 76 Calgarians. Looking to the future, ghost questions whether wastewater data could be used as a tool to fight the opioid crisis. He says active monitoring could create an opportunity for opioid warnings. We're able to analyze the wastewater to see if there's anything new. This could be new detergents, for example, new laundry detergents, but can also include new drugs that have slipped into the drug supply. We can say, hey, there's a new analog of fentanyl that's entered the drug supply. People need to be aware of it. Ghosh hopes that further project funding will enable the chance to share information with frontline healthcare workers to help warn of evolving dangers in the province's drug supply. In Calgary, Tate Laycraft, City News.